Grinders, you know who it is, your boy Pokewinger, back on the grind, back on the race to 10k. Guys, we are at $6,131, got two tables waiting to be played, both of these were from the $12 limits. Um, before we get started, like always guys, hope you're having a great day, hope your grinds are going well. Um, some knockouts to show you guys today, so on, they're all kind of smaller, this is the smallest I've ever seen it. Um, but there's a little look if you want to pause and look at that if you can see it 270 is the biggest one So it would be a nice day to take a big one um, Just to give you a recap of the day people keep thinking I'm my count just going up and up and up uh, I was down at one point to like 58 or 5700 today um, So it goes up and down like uh, people keep debating these things for some reason Debating if I'm taking bad beats or, or stuff like that. Um, I definitely have many uh, losing sessions um, You know I've shown this before that we, you know, our last challenge, we got a couple dollars, maybe $26 away. And I told you I went on a, a $1,000 downswing. So um, it is not just up and up and up. So far early in this year, it has been going up and up and up, which is a nice change, but um, I'm not naive. This is definitely gonna go downhill at one point that I'm hoping that I can uh, try to minimize the losses as much as I can. Um, but we'll just we'll see what happens uh, variance is gonna happen to all of us I'm no different than you guys uh, every single grand tour player poker player will go through downswings it is a part of the game it is 100% gonna happen um, and don't forget guys like I don't show you all the games I played I've showed you my last challenge you know we played thousands of games and uh, if I was winning every game we would have you know a lot of money in our account then way more than we do now so just for some people who are debating uh, certain topics. But uh, let's worry about the games we have on us right now. I was thinking of soon doing a video, had the idea today of, um, I am gonna float here. Um, this is very powerful. People don't do this enough, but we're blind versus blind. 10-9 suited does very well. Do flop top pair. Um, doesn't mean like a lot of pocket pairs are gonna be three betting like that, just in the grand tour, so. Hmm, this is hard. It could be two overcards and a flush draw. It could be a higher pocket pair. But I think the fact that we do have top pair with an inside, I think we do have to call. If I call that flop, it's a really hard hard flop to fold on. Aries 9, there we go. We're going to call him aggressive. Don't do the diamond. Nice, guys. We held. So we ran into a very aggressive player. His um, original 3-bet definitely makes sense. Going all in on the flop there. semi bluff it. Uh, I don't know. Um, didn't work out for him, but some people could, could fold there. Um, some of these plays you're seeing some people do. Um, I think also some people forget this is a final table and people do try to put on pressure like myself. Um, so some people fold a little more than, than others. So uh, some of these plays are based on that. Um, I'm going to decide to let this go. Ace-King here, we're in a great position. I mean, just to let you know, I've already lost... Uh, a good six or seven final tables today so even if we win these two this does not mean i win win all of them uh, i definitely lose my share now for whatever reason um some of the regulars that i was playing playing against uh before the new year um, there is a huge online series right now there is holidays and stuff but uh the tables i found the last week and a half to two weeks have been a lot softer than they were for for a solid month and a bit so i don't know if that's just fluke or people have moved on uh it's hard, hard to say but this the, that huge tournament series right now is probably taking away a lot of the action just like that we're down to two he gets the yellow one could be a decent one it's going pretty fast he gets 49 and 40 uh, sorry 48 dollars I have uh, him tagged red. Doesn't mean that he is a bad player, but just my little note. Someone made a comment today that like, you know, I call people donkeys and then that's how I feel. Um, I have two feelings about that. It's it's my notes. I'm also doing videos to make it entertaining. Calling people donkeys. A lot of people don't talk shit on YouTube kind of thing. Everyone's pol uh, polite, but it is just a game. We're all having fun. And also, like, if you're not a donkey and I'm calling you a donkey, it's not a bad thing. I'm bringing you action. Prove me wrong. I have money in my account. Feel free to come after it and come take it. Like, uh, you know, it's nothing to take too serious. If people call me a donkey and label me red or whatever their bad color is, like, I'm okay with that, man. And, and if I feel strong about it, I can uh, 
tried to change our mind. Nice call. With a six here. Wow. I thought he was weak too and he called me with a six. Um, you know, feel free to call people whatever, right? So um, I'm going to make a new note here. Hoping he checks back here. Hmm. But he, we just saw him do this, but... Uh, it sucks I had pocket queens. I'm writing a note. This looks like I was tanking on purpose. I'm going to bet over bet pod here. Knowing he might call to any pair here like he did. Uh, I'm not happy with the ace. Might scare him a bit. Um, but we'll take it. Hmm. Hopefully he checks it back. Seven would check it. Two or six would bet. Um, I don't know. I think even he would know this is a horrible well spot to bluff on. Um, I'm gonna lay that that one down. Pick a bit different different spot. We don't beat too too much there. And I think he was <clears throat> if he was bluffing, he would bet harder than that. Ask yourself. I know I did that play fast. I was talking. I bet over over bet pot. Would you call with the hand he called with? He happened to be right. He's not going to be right there too often. Um, and I put him in a horrible spot, but he happened to find a call there with like almost bottom pair. And that was the spots I was talking about, putting pressure on the final table. But um, I have him labeled red, which a lot of red, red players like to gamble. Ace queen, we're looking to get it all in for a double up here. Got him crushed here. Let's get a big hold. There we do, we double up. I'm gonna pot control that slow down a little bit. He might stab at this because I checked that. I'm gonna still just check it. I'll call one, but diamond, nice seven four. I got him to stab at it. So this is why I always debate, man. I have such a skill advantage versus this guy, but he doesn't jam that often. I'm gonna call though. Uh, I'm not too happy about it. Ace five. Uh, let's see if we can get lucky, guys. I hate these spots. We chopped it. I hate these spots where you're supposed to call. Um, especially I have him labeled red. Like he he could have done that with queen jack kind of thing. Um, you know what? I'm gonna just bet a little harder. He seems to be calling us with everything. Okay, now hopefully we can get it all in here on the turn. Oh, not the best card, but. Hmm. Well, I don't think he's ever folding, so if we're going to call River, might as well uh, jam him now. Well, we got him there. Okay, good. I don't want to give him a free card if he's going to gamble. Because if he misses, he can't call. All right, guys, we might lock up there. So we got luck in that one hand here. Let's see if we can hold. All right. The hot streak continues, baby. Let's ride it. Purple, guys. This could be big. This could be big. $106, guys. We will take it. That's almost enough to make the board because it's the lowest it's ever been. We'll take a look, but that's uh, one of my biggest knockouts in a while. Thank God it was purple. I was on a long stretch there of winning them. $321 from the 12s, guys. I told you this one was from the 12s. Uh, both these games are from the 12s. Um, we're at 6,400, guys. Um, let's see if we made the board. I doubt it. Yeah, it's 124. So usually it's a couple hundred dollars to get onto this. This is the smallest it's ever been. I've never seen the board smaller than that, but uh, guys, what a what a victory! Um, and yes, uh, I don't need to feel guilty the days we're gonna run hot or get lucky. Because I'm telling you right now, anyone who's been a fan of this channel, um, you know, I've I've uh, I've ran tons and tons of uh, bad before. Like it, it happens. So ride the wave when you, when you can do it, um, and even when you're you know running hot or whatever. You still have to be real if you're making good calls or not. Like uh, it's not like that play there was a horrible call. He just happened to have us beat. I think a lot of times that Ace Five versus a player like that would be in a winning situation, um, but happened to get a chop there and then we took it down. Okay, guys, can we keep it going, baby? Let's let's keep doing it. This guy here is very 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 aggressive. One of my top three to four players of uh, aggressive players are on uh, the Grand Tour. 
we battle a lot. So I think I had a note with this guy. Uh, open jam queen queen. So this kind of looks like a weak play, but he's a type of player that might just do it with a premium hand. Some players use that strategy. You know what? I'm going to go for a 3-bet versus this player. And we take it down. Yeah, so trust me, because I'm I'm aware, man. Uh, I want to be humble, but uh, like, and I'm aware that like these first five days of the year, our win rate is not going to be this high. Like uh, I'm I'm very thankful for it, and I do think we're playing great pe uh, great poker, but uh, you know it's not it's not going to be this this high for the for the whole year. That's for sure. But let's enjoy it while we can. But I do think when you're winning and you're and things are going your way. You, you do tend to think better and make better judgment decisions when you're down and because telling yourself you're on a downswing people don't play optimal they definitely don't look for spots to steal it and all that they just assume they're behind uh they're looking for kind of push push fold uh poker they don't they don't play their a game I, i'll say most people like obviously there's some people out there that would be exceptions to that it's a great river see if he stabs at it uh, I don't think I want to. I don't want to raise him because if he jammed us, we'd be in a really bad spot. Um, he could have his crush here, so we'll just we'll just have happily call six seven. So I'm happy with that. So if we raised him, I don't see him. I don't see him calling. But uh, if if he had five seven, you know, some cr crazy two pairs. So this is very close, guys. I think with our chips, we have to gamble. Even if he have if he has ace x, we have a really good percentage here. Some puck pairs, um, but I think we'll be at about forty five percent, maybe even higher, and we have to accept that. So we're 50%, we're flipping, guys, for a bounty. We get the bounty, we get a seven, let's go. So it's one of those spots that sometimes you'll have ace-king and then you're not going to be as high. But a lot of his weak, uh, if he has ace-six, ace-five, that you're in a great spot. If he has a low pocket pair, you're in, you're in a great spot. Um, so overall, when you have a chip lead like that, and this is a bounty knockout tournament, right? You have to go for those knockouts. So going for those flips when you're in a great position, uh, if you don't make those spots, you're you're going to be a losing player in these. Hmm, let's slow him down a little bit, see if we can get a free check here. Okay, we're priced in here, guys. I think we have to float here. King of Hearts. Might go check check now versus two people. You know, a queen here, honestly. Guys, we're going to do a blocker bet here. If we get raised, we'll fold, but we could be good here. King, queen. So, so it was pretty darn close. Pretty darn close. But look at that. If we checked it, he might have bet like six or seven. And these are the little things like... Uh, People see the all-ins, but minimizing your losses in, in certain hands uh, for not losing as mo much chips or when, when you do have a strong hand uh, to make max value, these are all, all important key factors for those flips that, you know, if you lose a flip, maybe you're still into the game because you made a couple right plays to get an extra five or ten chips and then all of a sudden you have a chance to double up. But if you miss those opportunities, then you're out of the game. Ace Jack here, we're a little deeper than I like for these stacks, but I have both these players uh, labeled aggressive here. Um, with our chip lead, I think we'd have to call it Ace Jack. Wouldn't be totally thrilled about it. We're gonna actually size this, size this one up a little bit, just cause the club draw and stuff like that. We block Jack Queen. He has King 10 in his range. Um, some Ace Xs, but uh, we're not gonna fold here. It's a, it's a great card now. I think we just jam him here and see if we can get some ace hero call, even some kings to call. Um, that's the thing. If it wasn't a bounty tournament, this is what changes everything there. I would never go all, all in on that bet or not, if it wasn't a bounty. I'd go to Value Town. I would bet three or four big blinds and try to get minimum value knowing that he's weak. And then it also creates an opportunity where he can bluff it. Um, but because it's a bounty tournament, I want to go after that bounty. And also, your bluffs would be jamming there too. Um, you want to bluff all ins over it because it looks like you're going after those bounties. And if it wasn't a bounty tournament, then a lot of my bluffs would be half pot and look like value bets. 
because it's a bounty tournament, a lot of your bluffs are going to be over bet, over bet stuff. I'm happy to check it here. His ace highs could bet here. We'll call him ace high. Jack 10. Nice kicker. Okay, we're gonna go all in here. Try to go after this booty. Even if he was to call us, we'd be in a pretty good shape. Okay, King Two. If this he this guy folds, we're gonna put him more pressure. I think here I'm gonna get out of the way. He's just gonna come over top of us so often, and then I'm gonna be squeezed here in the middle. Could put on pressure and just jam it, but um, I don't feel like that's a spot I want to do that with this. Okay, this is a spot though, guys. You have to go all in in these spots. I have both of them covered. You're hoping the big blind doesn't wake up with a bigger hand, but I want to go after that. And then obviously, there's tons of fold equity. If he folds, we're jamming 100%. We're going to get out of the way now. Hopefully, this guy doubles up. We can keep the bounty in play. Let's get a queen or a nine. Queen or a nine. We get the queen, so the bounty, we're greedy, we want them both in. We want the double knock it with King James for the win, baby. Okay, double, we're calling all, all ins here. If he folds, we're jamming. We're going to be way behind here, guys, but with this low stack, if you're not doing these plays, I'm telling you right now, you're a losing player. Got to be making these moves. Let's get a runner runner here. Nine. <laughs> we were close. Um, he's back in it. Okay, Jack 8 here. We have to call both of them. Not super thrilled about it, but with the bounties here, same principle. Let's get the hearts, guys. Let's get an 8. I don't even know. I can't look at all of them. 9. No, do we get one of them? We're all in. We're all even. So this kind of looks like a punt, guys, but we're just in these spots where our stack sizes are going to change our calling range. When we have two people covered here with a jack-8 suited kind of hand, um, you know, and you're going to be around, I don't know what the percentages were, 40-something percent. To, I'm not 100 million percent, but I'm pretty sure where it's uh, the right play to do. Okay, guys, can we make a comeback here? Just got to win an all-in. I think six won't be the hand I want to do it with. Okay, if he bets here, we're gonna we're gonna raise. Let's get all in. We will. We're gonna jam king eight here. Okay, guys, we need to get. Oh, we're ahead. Nice. There we go. Let's go. Guys, we're in a great position to close this here. He snap called the king five there. It is the right call, but getting close to bottom of range. But let's call the queen eight here to finish this. Ooh, we need the ladies. Runner, runner. No. All right, he's back in it. I'm going to let that one go. Oh, man, I hate these. Oh, man. I'm going to let it go. Okay, we're going to jam this. Sevens we're going to call. All right, guys, can we hold? Scary flop. Oh. So he turned us there. Can we get there? We got a dream hand to, to try to double up. Oh, Ooh, we do double up, guys. We still, have a, we still have a chance. Not a horrible hand here. Nah, we're out, guys. Spade, 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 spade. No. What does he get for us? I feel like it's going to be big. So look, took a bad beat. Gave one to someone and then took one. But guys, we are at another bankroll peak. We're at $6,426. The heater continues. Let's fucking go. Hope you guys like that one. Please smash the like button. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.